red, white, and blue. These colors mean different things to different people, but I'd like to tell you what they mean to me. Red stands for the blood that's been shed by soldiers and many men and women so that we would have a free country here in the United States. White, well white to me means right. White is right. Like the Bill of Rights, or the right of an unborn child to have a life while, and be born from its mommy's tummy. The freedom to, to choose what is right. That's what white means to me. And blue, well blue stands for God. We talk about being true blue. God bless America, doing what's right. Uh, in God we trust on our coins. Blue means God to me. But a lot of people don't want God in America. They don't think God needs to be a part of the United States. And you know, when they do that, things just don't, things just don't come out quite right. There's something wrong. When we leave God out. And some people say, oh, you can, you can have God in America, I guess, if you want to, but I'm not really interested in having God in America. And you know, when we do that, things still just aren't quite like they ought to be. Well, you know, I'm hoping that everybody will want to put God in America. You know, I truly believe if we put God back in America, some truly amazing things will happen. And then God can truly bless America. And things will be just the way they were supposed to be when our founding fathers founded our country. I hope that God will continue to bless the United States of America. Have you ever wondered who God loves the most? I wonder if he loves a pastor. You know, a pastor uh, works full time and teaches us things out of the Bible and cares for people. I wonder if that's who God loves the most. Or I wonder if he loves a youth pastor most. A person who's dedicated their lives to working with children, to uh, being uh, available when kids are hurting, help with family difficulties. I wonder if that's who God loves the most. Or how about a missionary? I wonder if that's who God loves the most. You know, missionaries make some tremendous sacrifices for the Lord. They go to different countries. They live in very remote, isolated areas. And they suffer a lot of hardships that maybe you and I don't have to do, suffer. I, maybe that's who God loves the most. Or does God love a famous athlete, a Christian athlete who is on television and gives his testimony and people all around the world hear his testimony and know how he loves the Lord and lives his life for God. I wonder if that's who God loves the most. Or how about just plain old you and me? I wonder if that's who God loves the most. Just you and me, like here at Camp Elkanah, we go to church every Sunday, carry our Bible, pray, and love the Lord. I wonder if that's who God loves the most. You know, it's interesting to see that maybe if we take a different look at things, we might find out that God loves all of us, all of our talents and abilities, and if we all work together, we can honor him and make life better here on this earth. People will love the Lord because of how we work together and love each other. And 
I believe that God loves us all, no matter what talents, skills, or abilities He's given us.